in an age where lending a helping hand is needed now more than ever. A couple of local agencies say they're seeing some significant gaps. Many local volunteer opportunities have been put on hold or have stopped because of the pandemic. News 19's Lindsay Ford shows us how they're coping with the shortage. Volunteers are always important but especially now in the in the current environment. Mayo Clinic Health System staff say hospital volunteering is down. Their volunteers help with a variety of services like hospitality, transportation, and now assisting with disinfecting high traffic spaces like hospital visiting rooms, on top of what the hospital's janitorial staff cleans. And that's what volunteers do. They provide an extra measure of support, an extra measure of compassion, uh, an extra smile, uh, of a uh, sense of feeling welcome and uh, uh, encouraged and supported. Over at Cooley Region RSVP, a retired and senior volunteer program is lacking in volunteerism as well, in part because of the age of its volunteers. Yeah, they definitely have a concern of, you know, being out in the community um, because of their age. Yeah, all of our volunteers are 55 or better. RSVP say they are looking at different ways people can still volunteer, like writing cards to nursing homes. Kind of redirecting them into a different volunteer opportunity is kind of my biggest job during the pandemic. RSVP volunteers provide craft services like handmade wheelchair walker bags and clothing items to handiwork around the house for people. I mean, I think our volunteers, again, the 55 and better, have so much to give. They have so much to offer to the community, their experience, what they've done in the past, um, and just to keep them active because I don't want them sitting at home not doing things and being depressed and lonely. RSVP used to have 40 volunteer transportation drivers and are now down to three. Staff say they used to do 20 rides a day and are now down to five. Pretty much most of our volunteers do go out in the community and help the local nonprofits in town. So because of the, most of them not allowing volunteers to go out into the community, it's been a little bit of a struggle to try to keep them active. Mayo Clinic Health System used to have a little over 250 volunteers, and now that number is down 30%. We have volunteers from age 14 to age 95 and uh, everything in between. Both parties say volunteers make the community better. Sure, volunteering is a great way for individuals to add meaning to their lives. Um, and our volunteers um, certainly express that every day. In La Crosse, Lindsay Ford, WXOW News 19.